So far we saw the points, um, that is the structures, wherein there were three points. Now we'll see four point structure. So for example, if I have four points, A, B, C, and D. Remember you have to take points in a clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction, but it should be in a cyclic order. A, B, C, and D. If I join these points, A and B, B and C, C and D, and D and A. By saying this is structure, you can say that it is a square. But in exam, they will not give you a square, they will not draw you this diagram. Rather, they will be giving you points A. For example, let us assume A 1 comma 1, B 1 comma 2, C 2 comma 1, D 2 comma 2. They will give you four points and they'll ask you to find out whether this whether the structure formed after joining these four points is square or not. So to solve such programs, to solve such problems, we need to understand what is square. If I have to calculate the distance between A and B, then what is the formula? You know that. That is under root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square under root. That we saw, that was the first topic, that is distance between two points. So for example, now here in this case, if I get AB value by the using that formula and then BC value and then CD value and then DA value. So what I'll do is, I'll just calculate the distance between all the points. If, if AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA if I get all the all the sides equal that means distance between A and B distance between B and C distance between C and D distance between D and A if all are equal then I can say that this structure may be it may be or it can be a square but I cannot say 100% that it is a square Still, I need to check one more condition. I have to check the distance between A and C, the distance between B and D. If distance between A and C and B and D, distance between A, B, B, C, C, D, D, A are equal, as well as the distance between A, C and B, D are equal, if these two conditions are satisfied, by this structure then I can say that it is square but for example if a particular structure satisfies this AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA but we'll take another scenario if AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA first condition is satisfied but we got AC is not equal to BD then it is not a square then it will be a rhombus to sum up this point if all the sides are equal if all the sides are equal then it can be square it can be a rhombus now to decide what it is you have to calculate diagonals if the distance between if the length of the diagonals are same if the length of the diagonals are same then I can say that it is a square if the length of the diagonals are not same then I can I must say that it is a rhombus